All right, hey, good morning, everybody. We got to talk about some PBR things this morning. So we're going to start out <clears throat> with this old batch of armor I got here. This was originally off of another PBR that was in theater. It had been shot up, rusted, and the boat got blown up. And we ended up with the armor for PBR 6881. Now, I know you guys are going to complain that the covers are white. Yes, the covers are white because it is well over 100 degrees down here in the afternoon and on deck. I promise you, if you were to fall down and didn't get up fast enough, you would have big bad blisters because this boat will cook an egg. It'll cook your little egg just as easily. So for now, it's covered in white. <clears throat> but that ain't, that ain't really what we came to talk about today. We came to talk about what makes PBR 6881 so special. We've always known that this boat was different. We knew right away that the boat was different from all the rest of the boats because it had these here speed ramps. Ah, there you go. You see underneath the pumps, she's got a ramp on either side. <clears throat> and that's how we was able to go so well in deep water because the ramps help push the boat nose down. It gives it a much, much, much better ride in deeper water as well when i ripped the paint off of this boat i discovered that the base coat paint job this boat was originally bright yellow now these things may all be insignificant but i can't help but wonder somehow if they are significant and it will help really truly discover what this boat's history is so to the question that I have for the PBR community, uh, this is the simulated aluminum armor package. I recut all of the aluminum for the armor package, uh, and it doesn't fit. In fact, it's uh, it's way off. So right here, we got from the back of the armor to the forward engine bulkhead, we have less than 12 inches to walk through. And that's just, that's just not enough. We should have at least 18 inches. As well, the door opening is only giving us 13 inches. So somehow, my cockpit area is several inches smaller than any of the other PBRs that I've been on worked on or helped restore so uh, i know that the first thing y'all are going to say is well then steve oh you screwed you screwed up when you put that engine bulkhead in dude you uh you must have put it in wrong um i'm gonna put a quick tape on it real quick we checked this yesterday so i'm confident that uh that is not the case as well if you go back and look at my restoration video when i peeled this bulkhead out of here i very very carefully left one layer of fiberglass to make sure that it located exactly where it was originally. Which is 12 feet, three inches. And, um, oh, do, do, do. there you go. Hopefully y'all can see that. We got 146 and a half inches so it's a uh, 12 foot two and a half inches to the forward edge of the bulkhead um, that's very 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 strange that our armor doesn't fit and I want to give you all this dimension as well I apologize for I'm, I'm not only the speaker but I'm also the camera guy um, I got 58 inches to the front of the bulkhead, so um, my helm area only allows me for 58 inches, and if I put a piece of plate that is 46 inches long, <clears throat> well, you can see, that's just, that's not enough room. So what I would like to do, I got this mocked up with the math here, I'd like to cut 6 inches off, maybe, I got, I got 7 marked here. I think I could cheat it to six. I think that uh, 
that would still leave me enough room that leaves me 39 inches inside the helm front to back but um it's a tough call to make because i know that this boat is a, a bit of an individual amongst the fleet and i would like to know how it is supposed to be because uh i think that those things are significant to this boat's history and um even though we don't know what that is, clearly 6881 is uh, an individual in the fleet. Um, you know, when I when I ripped the paint off, uh, I could clearly see that though the ramps were not original to the hull, they were laid in a different style of fiberglass, um, there was yellow paint over the top of everything. So they're dated very closely to this boat's whole lifetime of operation. Um, as well, the yellow paint. I'm, I'm hoping, uh, it's been rumored that this boat was the prototype for the Navy as they were figuring these things out to, uh, help the guys out in theater. Uh, it would be, it would be pretty cool and significant, I think, uh, to maybe prove that. And maybe, uh, this problem with the helm armor being way too large, just way too large. That's my hand. I mean, there's, there's just not enough room there to walk through. I, ha I have to cut something back, and um, I'm not looking forward to it, but it's 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 going to have to get done. So uh, I put this little video together today to reach out to the PBR community and you vets that have served on these boats, and um, well, they, you know, thank you guys for your sacrifice and everything that you did. I, I greatly appreciate that. Uh, however, I need your opinion. Uh, have you guys ever encountered anything like this? Um, do we have other boats that are in the community that we can get uh, more math off of to uh, compare things to? Um, seems like we're seems like my, it seems like the boat here is is missing uh, about six inches of boat, and um, I don't know why. It's a, it's a very curious problem that we have, but until we make a decision, I can't move forward with the armor. So um, it's okay. I have been working on a, a new site here um, to continue fabricating and working on the boat. We're going to get it moved back in the woods where it's um, cooler and we have some shade. Uh, so it's not reaching 140 degrees every day by 2 o'clock on the boat. It's um, I don't know how you vets served on these boats in the jungle. Um, you guys must have been throwing buckets of water at each other. No wonder you guys were all so skinny over there. Um, it's just crazy that the Navy wouldn't have chosen a better color. You, know, you guys weren't dying. So anyway, do me a favor and um, any information that you guys have, please please share it with me as soon as you can so I can get moved forward. All right, have a good day.